Hey folks, Professor Johnson. I'm in a different environment <laughs> today. I had to come to campus for something else. So I am here. I'm not even supposed to be on campus. That's the sad part. But since I'm here, I decided to record, some, record at least one video. Actually, I'm going to do two. Uh, but hi, welcome to, uh, to week five and six, the fashion of, uh, sorry, the business <laughs> of, of fashion. So we've been spending the first couple weeks talking about the environment. And now we're going to talk about money we're gonna talk about the 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 really the business aspect of it and you know my background is in you know, fashion merchandising um my master's degree is actually in uh, my master's degree is actually in management so you know i'm all about the money right i am about monetizing your passion so that's what this chapter is going to talk about now this chapter is interesting because i'm adding some information that's not in the book so i'm going to teach i i feel like the entrepreneurial mindset needs to be needs to to be in here too. So there's some entrepreneurial stuff that we're gonna go over um, in this chapter as well. Okay, so this week, what are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? The concepts we're gonna talk about this week. So uh, we're gonna talk about the four scopes of the fashion business. We are going to so those scopes are are kind of like Lego building blocks that that go together. So four components that all fit together that uh, entail the business of fashion. Um, we're also going to talk about on the business side, the three kind of forms of business. Um, I have a, a video that you're going to watch. The sad part is that that's a, a lecture in itself. So I'm really going to give you just the basic components of the three common forms of business. Uh, some you may know them, sole proprietorship, uh, corporation, LLC, but if not, you'll get those in a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about the importance of the role of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in the fashion business because we have a whole you know bunch of designers and influencers that we like but these are business people they are entrepreneurs so we're going to talk about the entrepreneurial mindset who takes the risk and then you're going to get an example of somebody who took the risk and had a major major success um we're talking a little bit about the roles of franchising and licensing because folks do um, both. Um, let me see, I don't have anything licensed on there. I had the wrong glasses on, but if we I had my, my other frames out, we could talk about licensing. But we'll talk about franchising and licensing, and then we'll discuss some careers. So in this section, um, we're going to talk about, actually, we're going to talk, talk about the retail environment since we're talking about the business. So we're going to talk about some retail store specific design, you know, visual merchandising, uh, retail design, and some mall management positions okay so as always same scenario oh i forgot this week in addition to your discussion board we have our first critical thinking activity and the critical thinking activity is a chance for you to show your application of knowledge so we're going to be doing a swot analysis on your favorite vendor on your favorite retailer right so um there's two videos you're going to watch in the directions and um, there's some research you're going to have to do. So don't wait until the last minute to get it done. Right. It's open now. You have two. You have two weeks. So well, two weeks to get it done. You have two Fridays at least to get it done. Two Saturdays to get it done. You have two Saturdays to get it done. Um, so you have some time. Don't wait till the last minute. It's a research project that is going to take some time. You're going to have to um, do some research on a business. And there's a, a template of form that you have to fill out. So um, so our first critical thinking activity is this week. So as always, same thing. Go read the textbook, review the lecture, work on the discussion board, do the critical thinking activity, come back and see the recap. Hit me on the inbox if you need to or stop by the visiting hours. See ya.